What's up, YouTube? We're here with Brandon from Morse of a Different Color. Uh, he's got an awesome collection of animals, and he's doing a lot on Instagram and YouTube, so we're excited to have him here. We're going to pick his brain, so stay tuned and get some knowledge. All right, guys, so... We have Brandon here, like Ryan was saying, and he's morphs of a different color. Now, Brandon, some people may not know who you are, and tell them why that may be, because how long have you been doing this? Back in the game? So, I've been back in the game, like, literally since November. Um, I didn't have any social media presence before the beginning of January, and uh, but yeah, I, I, uh, I've been around them my whole life since I was seven or so and uh was breeding colubrids back in the early 2000s up until 2010 and uh then just got uh, you know busy with work and, and life got in the way and so here i am got a my first ball python again back in april i guess right about a year ago and uh now we're in this so deep that i don't even know where the surface is anymore <laughs> it happens quick <laughs> yeah it does. so You've got a, a lot going on with Instagram uh, right now, and I know you're doing how many lives a week? Um, my joke right now is that I'm doing uh, eight days a week, like the Beatles song, but legitimately I'm doing probably four to five a week. Normally Saturdays, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday at least. This week I've got a Sunday too. So, uh, yeah, four or five lives a week. I got to yeah. tell you, almost every time I'm on Instagram, I get a notification saying that you're going live. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've been pretty I've good. Been fortunate. I've been fortunate. A lot of people want to do them with me, some big names and some uh, some good friends so far, including you guys. We had a good time doing them. Yeah, yeah. And we tried. We I tried. do uh, <laughs> kind of I, I kind of jump on to a lot of your live. Not a lot. A couple, once in a while, I try to jump on your lives and you're like, like the other night, I was like, hey, man, you guys are talking about something that I can't text in. I got a call. So right. <laughs> I did yeah. a freeway with them. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I was like, hey, call my work phone. So we set the work phone up underneath and and he came in like he was an audio guest. It was pretty, pretty interesting. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Trying to, you know, do a lot of stuff. Um, yeah. So let's talk YouTube real quick and then we're going to start talking about your animals. Sure. Um, what? You, so you you just dropped your first YouTube video today. I did. I did. Uh, don't judge me by it, please. It's a. Uh, it was a little awkward because I'm not. Uh, it was my first time, pro you know, talking to a camera with no one else involved. So um, for me, it was. It was definitely a little uh, strange. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, it's about a two minute uh, long clip, just of me kind of introducing myself, and and uh, hopefully they get a lot better than that. That's awesome. That's a good icebreaker, you know. And uh, yeah. feel free that you know. You want us to send you some stuff to add to a video? We'll do that too. Oh, for sure. Yeah, always. <laughs> we did that with uh, Predator BP, and we just did a video with them, uh, with Rich. And uh, so, yeah, we're we love we love being part of. So, what the in the world community. possessed you to want to take on YouTube? Well, um, so I, I do like I, I do a lot of lives, and uh, and I have a lot of people that come into them. But my lives tend to last a while, so I always have to start them over right at the hour mark because they cut you off on Instagram at an hour. And uh, and then I have a lot of people that can't make it to see as much as they want to. So I've been actually getting uh, harassed by several people like, you really need to move this over to YouTube so that they stay. Mm. And I'm like, yeah, you're right, I do. And uh, so I finally decided that I was going to do it. I don't know how much of it's going to be kind of original content as far as like uh, me just doing uh, pre-recorded videos. We'll see how I kind of grow into that or evolve into that. But for now, I plan on just doing mostly lives. All right. That's cool, man. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so you had your first conversation with a robot this morning, huh? I, yeah. I did. So talking talking to the camera by yourself is tough. Yeah, it it's really fun. is, <laughs> especially out in public. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So when when you're sitting there and you're trying to like, how, you know, how hyped do I want to be here? Hey, this is Brandon. You know, it's like I don't know, I don't know how much I should get into it, or if I should be real laid back or chill or what. 
So I have to try and figure out who I am in front of nobody. Yeah, that's yeah. really difficult. We, it's hard for us. I mean, we say that it's easier because there's two of us, but it's hard for us sometimes because I'm like, all right, go ahead, Ryan. You can get into it. And he's like, he's like, oh, you do the intro. And I'm like, what's up, guys? Like, I'm like, I did. <laughs> and then he's like, we got to do this 10 times, Ben. You're like an idiot. Like, the heck is wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it, definitely. I don't know how many times I said Brandon with morphs of a different color and how many times <laughs> I decided that that was a tongue twister and can't actually get the words out right after about 50 times of it. I'm like, this doesn't even sound like English anymore. Yeah. <laughs> if we didn't have each other to like break each other's balls or like make fun of each other, it would be way difficult. But, yep. <laughs> you know, a little bit easier when you can just start, you know, joking around, but it's hard to yeah. joke around with a camera. Yeah. yeah I, I think I need to get someone to hold it for me is what I should do. I just need to get a camera. I'm going to hire a cameraman as soon as I start getting monetized next week because I'm so awesome. And I'm going to get that <laughs> I well, can't wait. Hours that. on a two-minute video, so <laughs> that's great, man. I'm excited to see this happen. Yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about some of your animals, man, because this is why we're all here. Yeah, you're, you're great, but your animals are better. So that's what that's what people say. Yeah. Let, let's let's um, talk about that. What are you into, man? What's going on? Well, I'm into ball pythons, um, and uh, and actually some boas too, but I don't have many of those to show. Um, as far as the ball python side with the breeding, I, I'm uh, trying to work pretty heavy into uh, Nanny. Um, that's definitely my most intriguing gene right now outside of, you know, my the uh, the whole reason I got back into this was the leopard spot nose, you know, stuff, the, the clown, the mm -hmm. Batman. All of that was kind of what really was like, man, that's got to be the first thing I make. And uh, so I'm pretty heavy into leopard spot nose. I've got some clowns, some head clown stuff. And uh, but the one that I'm really pushing is Nanny. All right. Well, let's see some of it. Yeah, sure. Show us. All right. Yeah, this is uh, this is a uh, male Nanny 100 percent head clown that I just had uh, locked up with my leopard female. So that's pretty exciting. Um, the female also head clown. Uh, no, she's not head clown, unfortunately. So, uh, but I just wanted to start getting nanny pumped in somewhere. So I do, uh, I do have some plans to, to put them with, uh, I, I do have a clown female that she'll be ready hopefully in another year. Um, because okay. the, the clown female that I do have right now is locked up with something a little more exciting than this. So, um, right on. Yeah. 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 So, but yeah, this is, uh, I definitely kind of fell in love with this gene. Um, I guess it was probably about a month ago when I really started falling for it. I got my first one, uh, maybe about six weeks ago and just kind of seeing, uh, the, the, the way that it disrupts that side pattern, you get a lot of the pixelation down the, the, the sides. Um, and and then seeing the super nanny was just something that i thought was really incredible and that's really where i want to take it i want to work a lot with the super um treat it more almost like a recessive and just kind of mm -hmm. roll with it um see see what it does with with some other combos that way that's awesome man sounds good yeah the super nanny stuff is really impressive i like it this is a nanny pinstripe spot nose mail that i just picked up um i'm actually working this project with dave with uh alien reptiles okay and uh, so this guy is going to be getting shipped out to him he's going to grow this one up and start working it a little bit since i've got some spot nose over here already myself um but man that pattern getting broken up like that i mean when you got three of them that are doing that it's just pretty intense so yeah, that's a cool really, looking animal yeah, yeah. Really nice, almost solid dorsal you know yeah, it's like a zipper. And yeah, yeah, right. That's a good one. I like that. Um, and then the zipper back. Nanny, what I noticed about the nanny is that it definitely it clears out that uh that head stamp on pretty much everything, even on the clowns and spot nose as strong as spot nose is with it. Wow. It uh, it just completely eliminates that head stamp. Yeah, man, that's awesome. So it's a pretty cool animal. Yeah, like, I like that that uh, dorsal stripe is is pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And then as it kind of comes up the back, 
it, it breaks up uh, quite a bit, but it still has that solid line. Yeah, yeah. Um, all the way through. So yeah, the jagged edges uh, are nice too. All right. So next one is uh this guy is a um leopard spot nose pastel uh possible head for VPI Xanthic. Man. Okay. Yeah. So I love leopard spot nose stuff. It, that pattern just gets crazy. Oh, it crazy. does. No. It the crazy does. thing with leopard spot nose, even pastel mixed into it, you're talking about three genes that everybody pretty much has forgotten about and written off. And you like a couple of years ago, people started putting them all together, and all of a sudden, it's like the morph. You know what I mean? Like, right? Yeah, yeah such a great combination. Yeah, I think. Uh, I mean, and a lot of people leave it so much with the clown stuff as it is. I just, I think there's so much more to be done with it, even outside of that. Um, and uh, I'm pretty excited about seeing it with the the exantic stuff. Uh, hoping it proves out. Um, and because uh, I, funny story. I, uh, I picked this guy up uh, in Arlington, and um, so I would spent the whole first day going around looking at everything and making sure because I knew I wanted to come home with a leopard spot nose. And there, this was the only one that I had found. So, and I, I wasn't really wanting to spend as much on this uh, as 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 he was, but I definitely wanted to leave with one because I, I have a lot of pastel in my collection as it is, and. Um, I uh, wasn't really planning on working Xanthic uh, anytime soon. And so I was like, well, I don't know that I really want to get this one, but it's really pretty and it'll be ready by the end of this year. So yeah, let's go ahead and make the call. So we do it. And there was one vendor that wasn't open when we had gone past that side that morning. And my wife says, hey, we didn't go check out those guys. Let's go see what they got. And what do they have? But three leopard spot nose 100 percent head desert ghosts oh, wow. oh and i'm like you gotta be kidding me and uh so i was super bummed and of course you can't go back to the vendor and be like here take this back you know? <laughs> like, yeah 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 I, I I, they got a better one over there for less money than what i paid for this one so i'm just gonna uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. um but no and, and then of course i mean this one's just so beautiful and, and uh, it was uh it's okay this uh, this one is another leopard spot nose, and if you recall, I talked about the one that was 100% desert ghost, mm -hmm. and uh, I bought that one of those two. So I ended <laughs> up just going back and picking one of those up as well. I was gonna say you definitely should have left with two snakes. <laughs> I did. I did. I think I le I, I actually came home with eight snakes from nice. Arlington. So, um. You know, the only thing that I was a little upset about, and I was in, and because I've been very strategic about the genes that I've been buying and, and the reason behind them, I've not bought, uh, even though I've come home with a lot of snakes from things like that, they've all fit into the breeding plans that I have. So I don't feel like I've made any crazy impulse buys. Um, the only the one thing that I would say is that I, they're both males. So. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, I've got two male leopard spot noses, but one's definitely for my Desert Ghost project, and the other one's for this other, I guess, Exanthic project that I didn't know that I had before I bought it. So, right um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was gonna with that one. I was gonna try and push more towards the clown side, um, and uh, and then leave this one for the Desert Ghost side because I'm I, I'm also planning on working quite a bit with uh, DG and. Uh, and another one that I plan on working with is a uh, monarch. Yeah, so you you picked up at at Tinley, right? Because yeah, you, Tinley, you came Tinley to underground. Tinley Underground. I keep on hashtagging Tinley Underground. Yeah, um, you kind of started that, and we were there together, and uh, we shared Tinley Underground together. And you picked up a uh, Het Monarch, right? Yeah, I got that from uh, Liz and Kyle with uh, Royal Reptiles, and. Yeah. Uh, so they've, they've been in the project for a couple of years. They got in uh, through Tom Harbin, and, uh, who seems to be kind of the godfather of the Monarch stuff as of right now. Yes, and, he does. And uh, so, um, yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been exciting. You know, I mean, it's just a head. It's a normal head, so it's not, not anything that's uh, super crazy, but I will be picking up a, a, a visual mail probably in the next year or so. 
So it's a um, female you picked up. It's a yes, female. Yeah. Nice. Oh, I thought it was a male. Nice. That's no, awesome. No. Yeah, female head. Yep. And uh, so, um, yeah, I'm going to get a male so I can pump pump them into a couple and try and get some more heads out of it. And we'll definitely get some more heads out of it. But, uh, yeah, see, see what I can do with it. I was well, Brandon, you have a really nice setup, and uh, we really appreciate you coming on. Uh, I'm really excited to see where you take your animals this year. You've only been doing it for a short amount of time, and I can't wait to see where you go. So we really appreciate you being on. Oh, yeah. And we're going to plug your YouTube, your new YouTube channel down below, as well nice. as your Instagram. And so make sure you guys check him out on Instagram. He's always going live. Probably if you get on right now, he's live again. So whenever <laughs> you're watching this, he's probably live. Uh, but make sure you check him out. All of his information will be below. If you guys have any questions or comments for Brandon or for us, make sure you put them in the comments below. If you like this video, give us a little thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel because uh, it helps us to see where we are going, if people like it or not, as well as hit that notification bell. It lets you know when we have new stuff coming out. And don't forget that this video was brought to you by Doritos from Lay's. Thank you so much, Doritos. We like to eat your chips. We don't want to start any real chip wars. And... <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for joining us. Brandon, thanks. It's awesome. All right. Thanks, man. And this is the Russo 100% head clown. So orange. So we're excited to have him here. We're going to pick his brain. So stay tuned and get some knowledge. Maybe. I don't know. That was perfect. Is that good? <laughs> yeah, he does a lot on YouTube. <laughs> Starting <that> today? <laughs> Start he does a lot on Instagram and now YouTube. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. All right. I, it's fine. Intro. So feel free to go live while we're, we're videoing this. It'll be awesome. It'll be right. <laughs> I, we tried that during uh, uh, with uh, Deadly Trancher Girl. So yeah. we're on a live stream with her, and I went live with Instagram on my on our live stream. Uh, yeah. And it was funny. I don't think a lot of people, you know, checked it, but it was it's an interesting idea trying to do these weird crossovers. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. I plan on trying to do the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Please. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Thank you for saying please. So we got banners. Yeah. <laughs> Put on some pants, please. <laughs> oh, no. I thought this was all I got to be white stuff. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're, they're not the banner doors, at least. <laughs> that's true. They're yeah, already they're like, that that. They're like, dude, you need to grow some legs. And I'm like, man, give me a break. <laughs> I, work, I work legs all the time. I don't want to be annoying or weird or anything. Could you put your phone on silent? Because when it buzzes, the whole camera shakes. Oh, no joke. I got you. Okay. <laughs> and we can hear it. <laughs> wow. I got you. I was, like, I was like, I wonder if that was Ryan's phone. And then the, the next couple times it happened, I actually saw the screen like vibrate just a tiny bit. And I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm, getting, I'm getting hammered over here with, uh, with all this crap dropping today. And uh, this guy... This is a uh, nanny pin no pin nose. I'm gonna start over. Uh, I can't say pin pinstripe spot nose for some reason. I can't. <laughs> um, all right. So. Uh,